Hey! So this week is camp week, and if you're getting this, you are the parent of a camper. So they are a lucky student, and you're a lucky parent, because you get to listen to this awesome video about everything you need to know about camp. So, basic thing is you want to get your student here by 11.30 on Friday, because that's when we're going to be doing check-in. And you'll have lots of smiling faces, but they do need to eat before, because if we want to get them there at a reasonable time, we don't really have time to stop for lunch on the way. So make sure your student is well fed and well packed on their way here. And we do ask that when you drop them off with luggage, if it's anything beyond a suitcase and a backpack, it needs to be in a garbage bag because who knows where all those loose items will end up. Probably not in your kid's cabin, and that's not fun for anybody. Okay, also, you'll notice on this email, not only do we have this nice video attached, but down below we have two different kinds of waivers. So if your student is going to camp and they are a rising 7th grader, so a current 6th grader as of earlier this week, you know, because it's that weird time of year, but they will be going tubing, so you need to fill out that tubing waiver. And if your student is a current 7th grader, about to be an 8th grader, they need to do the rafting waiver. So make sure you uh, print that out, have that signed, and drop it off to us at check-in, or it won't be quite as fun. And it will be a really fun weekend because we're looking forward to it because the theme this weekend is board games. And we're going to talk a bit more about that in a little bit. As far as packing for you and your student goes, Garrett did just mention this. So outside of their normal suitcase, like pillows or linens, things that might you might just stick in between the straps of a suitcase, we're really asking to be in a trash bag labeled with your student's name on it. Um, all of this luggage gets put in one bus, and so when it is taken out, it's not necessarily together. So please label your students' belongings as much as possible just to help us on the back end. So certain things, the packing list is attached to the bottom. Please look that over. Um, but a few things we want to stress. One, multiple towels end up being very helpful. Um, one for like showering and getting clean, and then one for after things like the lake, like a beach towel um, for some of the different activities. Um, our bathing suit policy, um, so males, but more specifically females, it's just a modest bathing suit that you can really play in. Um, so if you are going to jump in the lake and there's concerns about it coming off, maybe find something a little sturdier. <laughs> um, but so just a modest bathing suit that you can play in. Um, messy clothes um, are a must. We tend to do some really fun games. Um, so something that if it got stained, it wouldn't be the end of the world as well as we're gonna be doing things like paintball. Um, so again, just anything that they don't care, that you don't care, they might not care so much, um, but something that you as a parent would not be upset if it got stained when they came home. Um, on top of clothes that they can get messy in, um, because they will be tubing and rafting, just clothes maybe that are a little more breathable for that, so something athletic based that will dry quickly is really helpful. And they also need shoes that they can wear in the water with a back strap, so like a Chaco, a Teva, um, so something with the straps, so like the rubber Birkenstocks might not be a great option, flip-flops not a great option, um, and then sneakers are kind of up to your call if they have an alt pair. We are stressing for your student to bring a reusable water bottle. There are multiple points where there will be, they will be able to refill water, but there are no water fountains like in their cabins. Um, so they will refill at the cafeteria and we'll have water stations set up, but it just is so much easier if your student brings something that they can carry with them. Obviously, bring hygiene items. We are encouraging your students to shower over the course of the weekend. So things like deodorant, shampoo, toiletries are really helpful. Um, and I think that is it. Other than we will have a snack shop available at various times throughout the weekend. So if your student would like to purchase, there'll be like candy, chips, that kind of stuff, um, maybe some sodas. Um, so that is additional money, so that's not free. So if they want to bring cash for that, they can. Um, but I think that's all for the packing list. Again, it's attached, so please read over that. Yeah, and we know there's a couple of you and your students are wondering what exactly will camp look like. Well, we're not going to give you a detailed schedule because that would just kind of confuse you. But the general gist of the weekend is going to be that on a normal day, we're going to wake up, we'll eat breakfast together, we'll go, we'll worship together, we'll hear the word of the Lord presented to us, and we'll have some kind of devotion or seminar. Yeah. And then the rest of the day will just be big group game activities, like we'll have some really fun giant board game themed um, games going on that we're really excited about. And also we're going to have other fun activities like rafting and paintball and lake day, and just all kinds of things going on around the camp, enjoying the great summer weather outside. And then later that evening, they'll have a chance to get changed, cleaned up, do some more games, maybe a dance party, and then more set like of, of a talk and a worship and all that. And that's pretty much how every day will be. Yeah. 
Yep, and that'll be pretty good. And also we want to emphasize the rules are pretty important to us because if you don't follow them, no one's happy. And we like being happy here at summer camp. But anyways, one rule that we want to ask you to please, please, please enforce is no phones. Because we believe that this is a time for students to get away from all the different uh, trappings and stresses of like social media, games, Fortnite, like whatever it might be. Like that phone is like nothing compared to like interacting face to face with all these friends around them. And to get the most out of the experience, we really encourage that you keep their phones with them. And if you just happen to forget, we'll gladly keep their phones if we see them out. And if they do need to contact you, all of us staff members and other adult leaders will have phones they can use so they're not going to be stranded in the middle of the woods. So we just ask that that's a thing. And also, one thing I want to emphasize is that we have a zero tolerance for pranking. And I know, I mean, messing around might seem kind of fun, but I mean, it just ends up in hurt feelings, destroyed property, and just those awkward encounters that you don't want the kid to so walk away and thinking like, man, that was really awkward that like we had to get called out on that. I mean, that's not fun for anybody. And there's other ways to have fun. So zero tolerance, if you get a call from us, about pranking, it, it won't be the best thing in the world. So we just encourage you to talk with your students beforehand and really emphasize how much we do not want them to do any kind of pranks. And we also have, you know, just general um, cleanliness and respecting the property, no guys and girls cabins, no girls and guys cabins, that sort of a thing. We'll have a full rules um, thing attached with your kids' pamphlet that they'll get when they go to camp. And yeah. Um, one other rule that we want to stress is no hammocks. Um, your student cannot set them up. There isn't any trees in the direct area where their cabins are that are good to set up enos or hammocks in, and they are not allowed to set them up in their physical cabins. It's one of the camp rules. So just leave them at home. Um, it's easier that way. And just to emphasize what Garrett was saying, um, we do have zero tolerance on some of these rules. Um, but that's really for the safety of every kid there. So it's not that we don't love your student and it's not that we don't want them at camp, but if it puts other kids at risk to not feeling safe, then that takes priority. Um, so that's pretty much the run through. Um, we will drop, we will have your students back here at the watershed Monday at 1230. If that time changes, we know it might stress you out that your kid doesn't have their phone, but there's enough staff people around that they will be able to contact you um, through our phones. Um, but I think that's everything we have. We are so excited and we will see you guys Friday at 1130 with your fed students.